Hey guys, Miami Aviation HD here, doing another review, this time of a brand new model. It is the American Airlines Boeing 767-300ER uh, with winglets in the new colors. Um, I have the non-winglets version of this, so I'm going to show it, um, I'm going to take it here and show it to, to show you guys the differences. Um, so I have it right here next to me. Um, but anyway, uh, just a very, very nice model. Uh, it's my first 767 with winglets, and these winglets are absolutely, absolutely amazing. Uh, just the size of them is uh, incredible. But yeah, let's just qu quickly start with the box. Um, here we have, uh, you know, just a regular Germanic box. Uh, actually, I'm going to zoom in because the light. Anyway, we have Boeing 767-300ER. We have the American Airlines uh, logos and titles. Um, one 400 scale diecast model aircraft. A uh, computer generated image of the aircraft. Gemini Jets logo. Uh, made for collectors by collectors. Um, if we look inside the flap, um, it has the regular information that you would find in a regular Gemini Jets box. Um, so yeah, you can pause that if you want to read. Um, we have the the bottom, which says Gemini Jets, and it has uh, some features of the aircraft. Um, Gemini Jets logo, the plane on the side, the top, and the other side, which is the same. Uh, 2016 release from Gemini Jets. Uh, American Airlines uh, licensed product. Uh, Boeing licensed product as well. Um, there's the aircraft climbing, uh, as real as it gets. Um, and yeah. Uh, let's quickly get started with the review. Um, let me put the box aside. You know. um, yeah, let's get the plane in. I'm gonna get a little bit more light. So, all right. So, um, if it'll focus, um, we can get started. Um, all right. So there we go. Oh. So um, here is the the nose, um, cockpit windows, landing gear. I'm not sure what that says. Um, let me see. Let me get closer. It just says seven six three. I can't really see the fleet number that well. It's very very uh, very very small. We see some door details. Um, One World logo. Um, the uh, American new logos, American titles. Um, the CF six engine antenna, uh, beacon, uh, anti-collision light. We have the massive winglets. Um, this is very, very nice. This is one of my favorite parts about the model. Um, and this model is going to be very rare, so I'm very glad I got to pick one up. Um, so yeah. Uh, we have the overwing exits. Um, we have the, uh, egress arrows. Um, uh, we have the registration, which is November 393, Alpha November, um, and it says 393, uh, which is the fleet number, so now I know what it is. Um, we have, I don't know what that is, it's probably another small cargo door, or just another storage area. There we have the door, the last door, which is very detailed. We have the American Airlines logo, um, you know, like the float tail, which is the American flag. Uh, trying to resemble the American flag. Of course, it is a another type of American flag, um, but it looks very good. Um, here we have the cargo doors, one on the front, one in the back. Uh, registration again, the winglets again, absolutely massive. Uh, the engines again, the landing light right here. <clears throat> you know, just your basic things. Um, just another overview of the aircraft. Uh, we have the APU here in the back. Um, we have lots of antennas on this plane. Um, and now let's look at the bottom. Um, we have the Gemini Jets logo. We have a uh, stand hold uh, with the uh, landing gear, the, the bay doors. Um, we have the beacon light landing gear, which is rolling. Um, I'm not sure. I think these are uh, this ventilation. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was the aircraft. Now let's bring in the uh, the non-winglet version, you know, just for comparison. So D 
The models are very highly detailed. Um, just the winglets is the difference between the two, um, as you can see. Um, but yeah. Oh, and this one does not have antennas because it is an older release from 2013. Um, many people do not buy this one because um, it doesn't have winglets, but the same aircraft, N368 AN, yeah, um, does not have winglets still, um, and they're going to keep it that way. I think it has certain uh, like requirements not met yet, um, So, but it'll be getting winglets eventually. But right now it is very realistic. People won't, didn't think it was going to be realistic, but right now it is. So, you know, it's very good that I have this one. Um, and yeah, and now the, the winglet version. Um, there's a couple of these around. Um, there's a couple still in the old livery, which is very good. I saw one at MCO the other day, um, which was very cool. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. And, um, and see you next time.